What's up guys? Mega Baron here. Sorry about that lighting, but um haven't done a video in a while. Gonna do a video on top eight Wii games that you should buy. So let's get started. from the bottom to the top all right so maybe set these right here all right so the first game that you guys should get is a really fun game you can do a lot of stuff in it and it's i don't have the case for it i made a case well i didn't make one but and this is the game that you guys should get it's wii game party 3 now, most of you guys are probably going to be like, oh, this game sucks. This game does not suck. Um, you could get mini golf, bowling, um, tennis racket, like, ball, uh, oh, I forget that name, tennis, um, pool, like, you can even get our old arcade games, like, um, that hammer game, and it's just a really fun game. You should get it. It's just a old, normal Wii game. Now, the second one you should get. I know there's Wii Sports and has like boxing games on it, but this is the boxing game that I recommend you guys get. Don King Boxing. Now it has a lot of special stuff. You can even train. You can um, do a lot more than you can in Wii Sports Boxing. And yeah, it's really fun. And it's hard too. I'm a hard game, so that sounded kind of weird, but anyways. The second one you should get. I sort of enjoy this game. Monster Hunter 3. Now, Monster Hunter 3 is okay. The graphics are alright. You can... It's mostly just like going around killing dragons and gang levels and upgrading a lot. You upgrade a lot in this game. And I forgot the ratings of the game, so... Game Party 3 is rated E, Wii Boxing is rated Teen, and Monster Hunter 3 is rated Teen, and the controllers, yeah, I should just go through all this stuff. And the controllers that you get, um, I don't know what you get, but this one takes a Wiimote and a Nunchuck. And then, the second game that you guys should get is... Tony Hawk's Proven Ground. Now this game is really fun. I played it for like all day one time. And it is rated teen. The controllers that you play with is a Wemo and a Nunchuck. And um, it is, you just drive around on a skateboard, get to create your own character. Um, and then you get to you gotta do all the missions like the hardcore skaters, the uh, the People who skate for themselves, and then the riggers, which is like parkour, but on skateboards. And then you get to the point where you get to Tony Hawk, and you have to defeat all his tricks. And that's the hard part. And then you end up getting harder levels and more missions, and you have to beat the game. And yes, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. This one is a hard game. It's I got this because I really like Halo and all those. The Call of Duty games and stuff, so I got Men in Black Alien Crisis. Now, this game is rated teen. It's um, the controllers that you can get is a Wii Zapper, um, and you and you can play with a Wiimote and a Nunchuck. And it's a mission, so you, you end up with a character, I forget his name, and you kill a bunch.
bunch of aliens. If either you do the story mode, or if you do free for all missions and just play for fun, um, it's I try beating it. Um, this is I'll show you the level that I'm stuck on. Is this level with that green dude? And yeah, and um, that big green plant that comes out and just eats you. And um, <clears throat> this game is rated teen. And yeah, so I recommend you get that game too. As well as this game, the Sonic Unleashed is a very fun game. Um, most Nintendo gamers would like this game. It's rated E10+. Um, the controllers come with just the Wii Gamer controller. It looks like a Super Nintendo controller. Wemo and Nunchuck, and then the GameCube controller, which I like this game because I could play with my GameCube controller, but I spent like 40 or $50 on, and I really wanted to use it, so I recommend you get Sonic Unleashed. Now, on to my two new games that I got. Now, this game is really fun. I mean, like, I've been working on it for a long time well, two days, two or three days, and I'm already starting to beat it, and it's rated teen, it's combat with Wii Zapper and Wii Boat and Nunchuck, and two actual guns that you can shoot, but, um, it is Dangerous Hunt 2011, and there is Dangerous Hunt 2011 Special Edition, I didn't want that one, because I should start off with just a normal one, and you can go into classic and then survival mode, which is like, so classic is like killing like deer in the woods and then survival, you got wolves, bears, apes, hyenas, tigers, lions, rhinos, and wolves, and bears, and deer, and duck, and geese, all at the same time. So I've been trying to beat and unlock a whole bunch of other levels, so I'm trying to get that game as well. Now, the last game that I recommend you guys get, let me count, I hope it's eight, one, two, three, yep, is, it is rated E10+, plus. um, on Xbox, I think it would be rated teen, but anyways, compatible with Wii Remote and Nunchuck and the Wii Gamer, Gamer Remote, not the, um, GameCube controller, it's like, kind of like Super Nintendo controller. But this game is Need for Speed The Run. Now, this game is very fun. It's easy at first, and then it's like a comic. And then you listen to the comic, but I skipped the comic part. And it just, you do races, you have to run from cops, you got to, uh, there's like little, in the missions, there's like little, so basically the whole thing is a race, but you win the, race race but you're still racing and then there's little missions in between missions so like there's like a bridge that you have to jump and that's the level that i'm stuck on because there's like a whole bunch of controls that you have to do to jump the bridge and yeah so i recommend you get need for speed most oh not i was about to say most wanted need for speed the run now i will show you all of them while they're in their discs so like in between there's Need for Speed to run in the disc. And I do get these at EB Games. And uh, Tony Hawk's Proven Ground and Men in Black, I got in the United States in Best Buys. But when I go to EB Games and get DS games and Wii games, I always get the recycled ones. And one of them I actually got at a garage sale. This guy was selling like a whole bunch of stuff like TVs, video games, video game consoles. And this is the one that I got at a garage sale. It's actually a very nice disc. And this one I don't play that often. And yes, I lost the case. I did have a dance game, but I lost it. I did also have Wii Sports, but it didn't work, and so I and I didn't have cases for the Wii Boxing, so I just made more myself. And 
And yeah, so that's the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like for more videos, please subscribe. And may the force be with you.